little mini video first or of the hub world. What's in here? I wonder. Let's check. Musket. Blech. Musket ball. Good though. Musket ball means. Another mini video clip, corrupt sphere, and then half of a corrupt sphere. I wonder what's in these. Two ball of hurts, I'm running away. Because I didn't only meant to break one and have two. Okay. Bye bye. One more mini video clip. Breaking another one of these. The ball of hurt. I have one of these already. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing more mini videos, because I just kinda want a I'm looking for a specific item. That is the uh, orb of light thing. Not here though. Meteorite landed. That's good. I forgot that. I forgot that will happen. Oh well. And on the video clip. Wild thorn. Sweet. That actually is something I wanted. It is a very good against age of worlds goes through dirt and it hits every little uh, click, every little thorn there is a hit. So that's very good. Okay. And another clip. I'm just gonna do a bunch of these little clips. See what happens. Orb of light. Yes, and the either world means I go away. Alright, final clip. That was a final little clip. I am uh, actual video now. Still a short video, but I wanted to just I already been the Eater World a couple times, so I don't feel like I have to beat him again to justify me getting uh, an Orb of Light. Finally, I'm very happy about this Orb of Light. It is a light of ball that follows you around, and you don't have to have the. Uh, which is awesome. It's ball light. It will follow you around and it'll light the world for you. It can lag behind a little, but um, usually it's more than enough to keep at, keep with you. I'm also happy about the Vile Thorn, which is a very good, very, very, very good weapon. Um, so, I just realized my mic was kind of far away, so, um, if you guys didn't hear anything in the first few, uh, little mini clips, that was me basically, that was me basically trying to get, uh, this orb of light to follow me. I wanted an orb of light, and, but I didn't want to kill the other worlds over and over again, so I just kind of, you know, pushed out a little bit. <laughs> but that's fine, whatever, you know? Um, also got the Vile Thorn, which is a very good weapon, because it hits on every little thorn. All of those are hit, and it permeates through walls, which is awesome. I'm very happy about this stuff. This is what I wanted. Or with light. Um, projects for rec recent projects are, I am making the, I am making a, um, what do you call it? Uh, an arena to fight the uh, Eater Worlds over here. I will, so this should be enough evil blocks to get it to be recognized as a evil place. If not, I will keep adding more dirt. So there's that. And that is pretty... Oh, no. I also have up over here I have set up sure. I, I finished the wall and I dug in a little bit of windows and I have um, set up eight little cubicles where I'll have the guide, the merchant, the dryad, the nurse, the arms merchant, the demolitionist, the clothier, and whatever else I missed. If I missed anything else. I just need doors now. Um, but I want to first go kill Skeletron. Not in this video, because I don't have, I'm not prepared for it. But I want to kill Skeletron at one point to uh, facilitate getting the... Um, to get uh, the clothing to appear. Um, for now, I actually got a little bit red brick. Oh, red brick from Slade Walk. I didn't know that. Fair enough. Right. Uh, what I wanted to do was actually put in some doors so I can get a few of the NPCs to spawn already because I did kill um, the eye once, twice already. You guys can see. You guys have seen me kill enough of those. I don't think it's like exciting to you guys anymore. But I killed them just to have some demonite or wing 
to get our helmet back because of the uh, off-camera death I had on you guys that know for that one. So on that death, I lost my helmet. So I'm not happy. Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm over now. I was, I was actually I was over to begin with because I didn't really lose anything important. I, I didn't lose a knife edge. I didn't lose anything that was too horribly like, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna live. So I'm happy about that at least. Um. Also, you can see there's a little bit there are platforms here and there. I have made most of this area accessible to a character that does not have the red balloon, so when I do eventually die, I can get around my own area and not have to uh, struggle. I need eight doors. I got ten. Okay, I'm a little crazy with the doors. Currently, I'm going to put in only a few because I don't want I don't have Skeletron beaten, and I don't want the a multiple of an NPC. So we're gonna do one. Let's say, let's say merchant, guide, dryad, um, arms dealer, demolitionists. Damn. The guide has arrived. Yeah, he. I, all right, right, all right. We killed him off. That's why he wasn't around. I wonder why he wasn't around. We killed him off, and I forgot that we had to do that to get him back there. Alright, well, that's, that's fine. Um, okay, that's done. I'm gonna keep these doors open. I need mud blocks. I should probably extend the... I have all these damn blue things, and I don't really need them. But I don't want to get rid of them. Just, you know what? I should probably make use of the chests for now. I'm just gonna... At least this is not what I'm gonna store in this chest permanently. But for now stuff that I kind of don't want to lose, but I want to keep with me. Chill here. If I remember right, we already have the next up version of the ball of her, which is the blue moon, so we don't really need that. Putting some stuff in here that we don't need right now. Gives me more free reign to move around. Yeah. Okay. I do need this stuff. Regrowth and maybe the valve thorn. These do tend to be a little bit useful. Shiny red balloon, don't need that. Don't need this, don't need this. Okay. Let's go down and extend our um, extend our jungle area down there. Doing pretty well, we're just doing pretty well. It was officially recognized as a jungle area because I can hear the music now. And you want to get down there, so that's cool. Merchant. Ball with me. I'm doing four is because you want uh, three to walk around in and you need to set the mud blocks too so I can take another one space. And as you can see I did stick to my idea of having both the pickaxes on me at one time so that I can get uh, faster speeds on these things. The right tool for the right job folks remember that. for all this stuff that is stock and the molten thick axe for all the hard stuff. As you see their emerald there, yes. We do have enough gems though for the jungle armor, so I will not mind those right away. We do need to eventually come back down to either jungle or wait for this thing to come to full fruition so that we can get uh, the rest of the ingredients we need to actually make the jungle armor. This does provide you, I mean, a fair amount of pretty much everything. You have a man guy, you have a guy over there, you know, you have the man, the managers over there, they're, they are spawning, which is cool. You have the, uh, the bees do spawn every now and then, which is also cool. Jungle slimes, there are bats around every now and then. I hate that. Over there. Can't do anything about the bats. If it's 
one block like that, you know, I won't switch to the uh, next pick. I just need one block like that. Push this up. At some point, to get a demolition, a demolitionist to arrive. I'm going to go take care of these uh, man eaters though, with, with, with the vile form. Show you guys how. On these guys, it's not you know it's not apparent how good it is, but I mean it might be. You say like yeah, that's one damage. Doesn't do a lot, but it's because these fuckers have a high armor. 30, they have 7 armor, so this only does 8. But on uh, Eater of Worlds, it's actually pretty cool. It's also just cool looking to hear him just take that much hurt, you know? I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I like hearing them hurt a little bit. Kind of a little bit of revenge. You can see, you can see they do spawn the bees down so. It's also really good on the Eater World simply because it goes through um, rocket shit. So. A little bit, a little bit of a sidestep over here. Just getting tree goes over here. Arms dealer's up. That's awesome. Uh, if you remember, we don't have an arms dealer in our other world simply because we forgot to, I forgot to keep the uh, musket ball ammo around long enough for it to spawn an arms dealer. So, whoops. So once this all uh, fills out, I'm sure we'll have a nice, easy way to get jungle stuff. I believe in it. I believe in it. Although to be honest, next our next video is probably gonna be me going to the jungle, getting a bunch of armor, getting a bunch of the roses and stuff because I do want the jungle armor. I want to bag it. Ah, two bombs, that's good. I want bombs because uh, the demolition man does not arrive unless you have bombs in your inventory. What I like about the man eaters is that they can go through walls, you can hurt them. Guys. And that actually applies to most enemies, I think, that can go through walls. Which is really nice of them to do. I'm not sure. What I, one thing I don't understand is. The NPCs don't seem to be able to jump as high as you can, which is kind of sad. You know, not I, I, they don't use the full jump that they have at their ability. I don't know. You can only jump very, very small spots, and that kind of makes it a hassle. Ah, but then again, the arms dealer sells what? The mini shark, the flintlock pistol. 40 gold. This actually is pretty cool because. Insanely fast speed, six damage, which can be a problem if you have something like that can negate most of that damage. But uh, if you get like meteor shot, which is like ten damage balls, it's, just, it's, just, it's crazy shit. It's crazy shit. Righto. So we got those two. We got one, two, three, four. We have four doors actually, so that's cool. Demo man should be here soon, I think. What are we doing? <laughs> I've, I've actually kind of forgotten. Oh right, so I set the uh, I set that down. That's good. I'm gonna need um, jump move rest at one point though. To get that going. So that's, I, I can do that later. How's this coming? Yeah, this thing spreads pretty quickly, which is cool. You gotta be careful though, you don't want it to spread where you don't want it. Like if I let it, because this is all grass, so if I let it accidentally touch this area over here, it would all spread and we'd have freaking. We would have, um. We'd have corruption in our base. 
and that's not good. I, I don't I don't want that. No, that's bad. That's very bad. We no like corruption in our base. Um, okay, guys, short video again. Really, the only reason was um, to get the orb of light because I I was tired of not having one, and now that I have one in my person. Also, I have the wild which I'm happy about. Next video will be us going down to the jungle in this world, actually, and getting enough um, jungle roses and stuff to make the jungle armor, which we, we can make because we do have enough diamonds and stuff. Actually, let me see if I can, real quick before this video, before I cut this video out. through this little this real quick. See if I can get another bit of because now I'm, I'll extend this. I have to extend this too. Oops, damn it. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Right. I'm just looking for the bluegrass seeds, not really the mushrooms themselves. Since this is pretty much done, I can start taking them. This is the problem what I did is I made the um, I made them too short down so I can't really get at them until they actually grow all the way. Kind of a pain. Kind of a pain. I think though what I can do is I think there's enough grass up in the or down in the jungle this area that we can actually get jungle grass out of this. Area. And if we can we can just add it to the next thing. This man is gonna work me over time. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Deuces.